With Modflow Analyst, it is easy to import existing Modflow models and integrate them into ArcGIS. This demo will show how to use the Modflow import tools and how to visualize model data within ArcMap. This map shows an overview of a model area in Cache Valley in northern Utah. The model has six layers, 82 rows, and 39 columns. For this demo, we will be using a steady state version of the model. In a subsequent demo, you can see how to handle transient models. To import the Modflow model, you can use the Import Georeferenced Modflow Model GP tool, available in the Modflow Analyst Import toolset. The tool inputs include a Modflow name file and a Modflow world file. The world file provides the coordinates of the grid's origin and the angle of rotation. Arc Hydro Groundwater also includes a GP tool that helps you create your world file. We need to specify an output location and name for a new geo database. The tool will import a complete Modflow model and build a new geo database with the model information. The tool uses a custom Modflow executable to import the Modflow model. Upon completion, the model grid should be created using the boundary, shown here in red, and Cell2D and Node2D features. In addition, a set of tables is created to store the model information. The tables store the model information, and values are related to the Cell2D and Node2D features to enable mapping of the Modflow data. Now that the model is in our GEO database, it is easy to create different visualizations of the model data. First, we will create a layer representing the active zones of the model using the iBound to Polygon tool. We can use the K filter available in the Modflow Analyst toolbar to show the active zones for the different layers of the model. It is easy to map almost any type of Modflow data. For example, we can use the Make Modflow Feature Layer tool to create a map of vertical conductivity. You can use either the Cell2D or Node2D features to map the model data. In this case, we will use the Cell2D polygons to map the conductivity. Again, we can use the K-filter to display data for specific layers. We can also map any of the Modflow packages such as the Recharge, Evapotranspiration, River, General Head Boundary, etc. Let's create a layer of the Recharge package using the Make Modflow Feature Layer tool. You can see that I have created a number of layers to display rivers and general head boundaries. Next, we will import the results of the Modflow simulation. We use the Import Modflow Output tool that will read heads, drawdown, and flow data. In this case, we will only import simulated heads. When we are done importing, we can easily create a map of the simulated heads using the Make Modflow Feature Layer tool. Again, we can use the K filter to display heads for selected layers. 
Finally, we can take the model information and create cell 3D features to visualize the model data in ArcScene. We use the Create ModFlow Cell 3D tool to create the 3D features. Now we can open ArcScene and visualize the model data in 3D.